Hello everyone, my name is Chris and I'm gonna show you how to paint this 1932 fort that we modified in previous episodes. Buckle up and enjoy the ride. I started with priming all the parts black using an airbrush and a Vallejo black primer. The chassis was already black but primer will help to paint to stick to the surface of the model. I then added some zenithal highlights by adding few drops of white primer to my black and painted it from 45 degree angle. Then added a few more drops of that white primer and finally sprayed it directly from above. This will define some shadows and result in much brighter and richer red when we start the actual painting. For the red I've used Citadel's Mephiston Red. I find Citadel's White Rider Red a bit too pink and Joker or Orange too orangey to be used as highlight for red. So I mix those two together and hope for the best. I dry brush the model with a soft bristle brush, flicking it back and forth. I based all the parts that I was gonna paint with metallics later on in a dark brown. Gun metal looks better on top of the dark colors and any places that we missed we simulate rust or shadows. I didn't bother with detail brush on chassis pad and wheels. Chassis needs a full coat and I will need to repaint the tires anyway. Vallejo gun metal was used for all the metal parts. I'm not trying to get 100% coverage, in fact I want to win back some of the time I spent on basing it brown. I just used a dry brush on wheels and the chassis. I've used the Lurust color from Vallejo's Game FX series to wash most of the metallics. I've thinned it heavily with water and spill it on all over the model. It looks very vibrant now, but it will dry much dark and translucent.
I mix a little bit of Typhus Corrosion with AK Interactive Track Rules Weathering Powder and stipple it on in few random places. I painted tyres with very dark grey, being careful around all those metal rims. Brassy brass was used for exhausts. It is amazing color with very good coverage. I've added verdigris to those using Nihilac Oxide from Citadel's technical paint series. I've used military olive green to paint the entry hatch on the roof of the car. I dry brushed some of the metal parts with that goo metal we used earlier to regain some shine. I left the wheels very rusty and only dry brush the metal spikes. I also dry brush the hatch that we only just painted to mimic scratches caused by wear and tear. I've used a little bit of packing foam to sponge dark brown in places that are most likely to get scratched during racing. I painted the air intake with Vallejo's black. Mm -hmm. 
some of your green skin players out there might recognize this transfer sheet. I cut out a strip of checker pattern and soaked it in microset. Then I used the same solution to position it in place. Once I was happy, I trimmed excess off with clippers. I sponged on some of that black we painted the intake with to tie it all together. Then I applied goo metal to the places we sponged brown earlier on. I'm being much more delicate with it and making sure that some of the brown still is still visible. I did an all over wash with mixture of Agrax Earthshade, Noon Oil and water in all the equal ratios. Kept an eye on the model while it was drying to avoid too much pulling, especially on flat panels such as roof of the car. I just used my brush to soak the excess wash up and dry it on a paper towel. I've used noon oil to wash the tires. I highlighted all the sharp edges with a Vallejo steel metal color and a detail brush. I ran black ink into all the panel lines to boost contrast even further.
I've used Bone Blue from Tammy Has Weathering Master Set to add some discoloring to ends of the exhaust. Finally, car was ready to be assembled. I spread a super glue with toothpick on the rivet bars and added little balls of milliput to each one of those. Then I made a couple of holes using the ball end of a sculpting tool. I simply use super glue to glue all the wheels in place. And here it is, modified and painted Ford, ready to rule the wasteland. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you at the starting line of my next video.